Unit 46, Future Events and Activities. Speaking and Listening. Introduction. Are you okay, Anna? Yes, I'm fine. You don't seem very happy these days. Oh, I'm okay. I'm just thinking. What about? Well, I'm 30 years old. I'll be 31 in September. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be a travel courier forever. Don't you like the job? Oh, the job's fine. I just don't want to do it forever. Ah. Oh. And if I don't change soon, I'll never change. Well, don't worry about it. Oh, you're right. Maybe I've read too many horoscopes. Horoscopes? Yes, you know. If you don't like your job, you'll have to change it. You are going to change your job very soon. You may have some good news about your job. <laughs> well, let's look at your horoscope for tomorrow. <laughs> um, Virgo, mm. you are beginning an exciting period in your life. Happiness is just around the corner, so do not worry about your present problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. Cheers. 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 What are you going to do this weekend? Well, I'm going to visit my parents on Saturday, and I'm leaving for Sweden on Sunday. Oh, that's right. You're going to Sweden. Yes, my plane leaves at 14.25. Have you been to Sweden before? No, this will be my first visit. I'm looking forward to it. I know an interesting fact about Sweden. The oldest newspaper in the world is Swedish. Did you know that, Anna? Yes, it's the Postdoc Enriquez Tidningar. It began in 1645. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Skull. Skull. <laughs> Future events. Listen. In a few moments, we will be landing at London Heathrow. Please make sure that your seat belt is fastened, your seat is in the upright position, and your table is folded away. No more smoking until you are inside the terminal building. The train now arriving at Platform 12 is the 1827 Intercity Service from Blackpool. The 1710 Intercity Service from Glasgow will not be arriving at Platform 12. This train will be arriving at Platform 9. Platform Nine. And that's all from Bookshelf for this week. In next week's programme, we'll be meeting the British novelist Martin Amis. We'll be visiting the Lake District, where William Wordsworth wrote his poetry. We'll be talking to the Liverpool poet Brian Patton. And we'll be trying to answer this question. Did Shakespeare really write all of Shakespeare's plays? Until then... Goodbye. Listen. Hello? George, are you okay? I'm fine. The children are fine. We're all fine. But the flight's delayed. What? The flight is delayed. Oh. I think we'll be leaving at about 5.30. What? I think we'll be leaving at about 5.30. Sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, we'll probably be leaving at about 5.30. Oh, so you'll be arriving at about 7. What? You'll be arriving at about 7. We'll be arriving at about 7, yes. OK. Will you be meeting us? Yes. OK, uh, see you later. Listen and repeat. We'll be leaving at about 5.30. I think we'll be leaving at about 5.30. We'll probably be leaving at about 5.30. We'll be arriving at about 7.00. 
Will you be meeting us? Future activities. Listen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the captain speaking. Welcome on board. For your information, we will be flying at a height of 30,000 feet and our speed will be 500 miles per hour. Thank you. Do you have a double room facing the sea? Yes, madam. Uh, what's the price per night? Fifty-two pounds, sir. That's fine. How long will you be staying? Just one night? No, we'll be staying for three nights. Three nights. Fine. Listen and repeat. How long will you be staying? We'll be staying for three nights. We'll be staying for a week. We'll be staying for two weeks. Listen. Well, Anna, this time next week you'll be lying on the beach or sitting under a palm tree or swimming in the ocean oh, under the tropical sun. Oh, I don't think so, Angela. The Seychelles. I'm really jealous. Angela, I'm not going to the Seychelles. I'm going to Sweden. Oh! Listen and repeat. This time next week. I'll be lying on the beach. I'll be sitting under a palm tree. I'll be swimming in the ocean. What will you be doing? Polite questions about the future. Listen. Will you be using your typewriter tomorrow? Um, no. No, I won't. Could I borrow it? Sure. Thanks. Um, will you be using your computer? No. Do you want to borrow it? Yes, please. If that's okay. Fine. Thanks very much. Um, will you be staying at home all day? Yes. Could I borrow your car? Listen and repeat. Will you be using your typewriter tomorrow? Will you be using your computer? Will you be staying at home all day? Could I borrow your car? Song. Driving all night. I'm a thousand miles from home and I think I'll be driving all night The end of the road is miles away, not even in sight I've been driving through the night and day Thinking about you all the way And thinking about you makes everything alright I've been away so long and I wanted to be with you tonight but the end of the road is miles away, not even in sight I've spoken to you every day But on the telephone you're still far away I'm on my way And I've been driving all night
style. Listen to these announcements. In a theater. Please take your seats. The performance will commence in three minutes. The performance will commence in three minutes. You are reminded that smoking is not permitted in the auditorium. Thank you. In an airport departure lounge. British Airways announced the departure of flight BA362 to London Heathrow. This flight is now boarding at gate 25. During a flight. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Captain Matthews and his crew, welcome on board this British Airways Boeing 737. Our flight time to London today is 2 hours and 20 minutes. We hope you have a pleasant flight. Ladies and gentlemen, you may now smoke if you wish. Smoking is not permitted in the toilets or when moving about in the cabin. We are beginning our descent to London Heathrow. Please return to your seat and fasten your seat belt. Synopsis Dialogue Well, Anna, this time next week you'll be lying on the beach or sitting under a palm tree or swimming in the ocean. Oh, under the tropical sun. Oh, I don't think so, Angela. The Seychelles. I'm really jealous. Angela, I'm not going to the Seychelles. I'm going to Sweden. Oh! I'll be walking in the forests, swimming in the lakes, and visiting the old town in Stockholm. Oh, lovely. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I'll be sitting in front of this computer. Oh. <laughs> Have a good trip. Thanks. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Captain speaking. I apologize for the delay, but we'll be taking off very shortly. Some information about the flight. We'll be flying at a height of 30,000 feet, and our speed will be 500 miles per hour. Our flight time to Stockholm today will be 2 hours and 25 minutes, and we'll be arriving at 17.50 local time. So, sit back and relax, and we'll be taking off very shortly. I'll be speaking to you again during the flight. Would you like a newspaper, madam? Oh, yes, please. English or Swedish? Uh, have you got the Post och Enrique Stidningar? Sorry? Uh, I'm joking. Um, I'll have a guardian, please. Oh, certainly, madam. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has switched off the no smoking sign. You may now smoke if you wish. Please remember that smoking is not permitted in the toilets or when moving about in the cabin. We will soon be beginning our descent to Stockholm Arlanda Airport, where the weather is fine and sunny. Please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt.